Imagine doing this for like 15 years of your life and you've been saying it every day repeatedly like a broken goddamn record and still the public is just as dumb even not even not even that they're more dumb than they were when you started saying it they haven't listened on iota still don't understand don't have the mindset that they don't have the brain matter literally to understand and you know what i i'm going to start coming out more and more with research that i've done on the chemical called testosterone which is they say it's the aggression chemical but no it is not it is actually the drive and logic chemical this is what i'm discovering through deeper research into testosterone okay that's why there's a war on it. i talked about the war on testosterone back in i think it was 2015 a freer mind four talking about it in context with the uh, uh, neo-feminism uh, cult that has come up in Western society. Okay, uh, my presentation was called uh, "Neo-Feminism and uh, the Satanic Epigenetics Ad Agenda." Unholy feminine was the title. The subtitle was uh, uh, "Neo-Feminism and the Satanic Epigenetics Agenda." So this is what they want to do. They want to destroy testosterone. It's part of the neo-feminism Satanic Epigenetics Agenda. And that what it, that is going to do is epigenetically, meaning beyond the genes, transform genetics but through mind control, okay, making people not be able to reason soundly and logically. When you remove, when you put hormone blockers or hormone altering chemicals in things, as are in the food supply, the water supply, the drug supply, etc., you are going to chemically alter human gene the human genome over long periods of time what they want to do is lower testosterone levels not only in men but in women because women need testosterone just as much as men do they don't require as much of it but they need it just as as importantly it is just as important in the female makeup chemically biochemically as it is in the male makeup biochemically that's why they want to annihilate it because what not having testosterone does you can look at testosterone as it is the thing that makes you get up and go. It is the drive chemical. It is the thing that makes you focused, right? They want everybody in a cloudy haze of not really understanding, not knowing, oh, it's all the same. It's all okay. And, then there's a, and, and not be able to focus in, focus in, right? Laser-like focus. There are other modes of thought that are as important as focus, right? I talk about the modes of, of consciousness. Concentration, contemplation, and meditation. Concentration is the left brain focus. Testosterone makes that possible. That's how we arrive at reason. That's how we arrive at organization. That's how we arrive at action, of doing things, of, of driving things forward, and energy, okay? They don't want that. They want everybody in a cloudy haze of not knowing, and oh, I'm not sure, and oh, I don't know what to do. You see guys like this. You see women like this. They can't put two and two together. They can't put their thoughts together. They can barely form a complete sentence. They're so undriven. They're, they're just like, oh, okay, that's what's going on today. All right. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Uh, that that's what not having enough testosterone in your makeup does. You're unfocused. You can't actually get things done. You can barely do anything in your own house, let alone for the world. You know, not that I really like his work a whole lot. I think he says some things that are that are worthwhile. But this is what Jordan Peterson means when he says, "Clean your goddamn room." You're worried about doing things in the world, of social justice warriors. Your your room is a mess. You don't even have your act together there. You you you, you don't have your act together there. You think you're going to help the world? Yeah, this is what unfocused people are like. They have these grandiose ideas, but they're not even doing anything worthwhile in their own damn lives. You know, get your act together first. That's the first part of the great work. And, you know, the other modes of, of uh, thought that I talk about are contemplation, which is like a, 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 a imag imagination stage, which is very important. That's about envisioning what things could be like. So we move things toward them through our behavior. And then meditation is a healing modality which everybody should learn. And uh, quite frankly, I should practice more, you know, because I've let things go in my own health and body because of how unbelievably bad my surroundings are and letting that affect me and drive me into some unproductive modes of anger. It's one of the reasons I took a break from the show because I feel like my anger level was growing so 
uh, um, to, to such radioactive proportions that I'm going to start doing more harm than good by turning people off to it. But I, I had to get that out there. Yeah, I agree. I've been having a few rants myself lately. That's right. And guess what? It's cathartically healthy up to a point. Then we have to sort of reel it back. Because here's the thing, Mark. We got to tell people what we really think. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be honest. Right. I'm telling people what I really think of them. I have to get that out there. I, it was going to blow up. That was like all the energy of the sun bottled up in, in a little tiny, tiny bottle in a little can. And, and th th it can't, you can't just let that build and build and build. I'm releasing that. I'm going to release that. Okay. I was holding on to that for years, to wanting to tell people what I really think of them. And I did. I did it. So it's done. It's out there. And I'm going to try to be more productive and explain to people things like this. I'll still do it in an animated fashion, but people have to understand more and more about what's really going on. They need to know more about the occult. They need to know more about how they're brainwashing people. They need to know more about how they're chemically altering people.